there's nothing better than the sweet smell of trench foot in the morning. Mm-mm. Happy Thursday, homeworld hero. Oh, that's that's so sweet of you. Oh man. Welcome to Butterfield. The game hitherto known as Battlefield 1 shall no longer be called by such name. It is only to be known as Butterfield. If I hear any of you referring to it by a different name, boy, I'm gonna smack you. Motherfucking PS4 won't let me output audio from the controller and the TV at the same time, so I had to plug my headphones into the TV, and my recording setup is a goddamn disaster right now. I'm like three feet from my television. This, I don't, I'm gonna suck a huge dick during this gameplay. Oh no. It's full. It's full. The one true squad is full. Well, fuck. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna try being a scout. This is a bad idea. I can't snipe worth shit. So, you know, why not, when recording for a gameplay, pick the, one of the classes you're the weakest with? Fuck. Shoot that motherfucker. He's just moseying. Shoot him! What the fuck? One thing I've noticed playing this game so far, quite a bit of stupidity. Quite a bit of it. A lot of just people who are just blind as bats, man. It's pretty incredible sometimes. We gotta capture Loaf Ridge. <laughs> I like that. I like that name. Shit is... Shit is... Cr okay. That's not how you drive it. That's not how you... That's not how you man that vehicle. How'd you get out of tank school, buddy? I'm actually pretty spooked, because that's, that's the enemy, to, and it's dead. We are losing objective I got that guy. You sneaky little fuck. Oh, I missed that shot real bad. Oh, there are more than one of you down in that trench. Say hello to my stick grenade. <laughs> oh, God. Battlefield for me is like goddamn comfort food, right? It's a comfort food video games. I just have fun when I play this game, and that little moments like that are what make it for me. Shoot that guy in the ass. Shoot his friend in the leg. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm so out of my element that I never play Scout. I figured it'd be entertaining. I tend to prefer, uh, Medic. Though his guns in this game kind of suck. Superb attack, boys. We did it. We captured this sector. This is the new operations game mode. It's really cool. I'm doing the 40-player variant because I find the 64-player variant to be really quite chaotic, like just just an absolute mess, just a clusterfuck, just, you know, men on top of men, just bodies everywhere. Um, it's probably the more authentic World War One experience. It is fun, but if you want to do well, I don't, don't recommend it. You will die a lot. This game is so goddamn pretty. I can't get over that. It looks so good. It blows my mind. No, 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 no. I refuse to die. Yeah, that's right. That's right, buddy. That wasn't luck at all. <laughs> that was pure skill. We got the sector already? Dude, we are doing well. We have lost so few members of our battalion. So the way this game mode works is you get three battalions, right? Each battalion consists of 150 soldiers. Um, and that's basically your respawns. And... If you run out of all of your soldiers during an attacking phase like this, so you go through a whole battalion, then it will start the this phase over again with a, the next battalion. And you basically just keep going and see how far you can get. Once you run out of all three battalions, then it's over and you've lost. Uh, but if you can make it through all the way to the end before your battalions run out, uh, then you win. Never seen it happen in operations. Never seen the attacking team actually make it all the way. Pretty fucking hard most of the time, but still a lot of fun. <laughs> Man, World War One was so fucking weird. Just got dudes on horseback and tanks and like, like what is this? What you doing back then, 1918 times? Like what? Don't make no goddamn sense. We're losing objective butter. That's absolutely unacceptable. If we lose control of butter, then what do we really have, man? The guy needs to pay more fucking attention. Let's take goddamn butter back. All right. It's our goddamn birthright. Butter belongs to us. I'm scared. A lot of Brits in here. A lot of Brits. I'd be really interested in seeing a custom server for this game set up at some point that is bolt actions only. Like, I think that'd be pretty interesting. 
like a more authentic experience, like you have to be scout class. I'm curious to see what settings they'll allow us to put for custom servers. God damn, I blew the fuck up. I didn't just blow up, I blew the fuck up. Fine work, men. With the iron fist of the great Kaiser, we have smashed their defenses. Now onwards, let us march to Amiens and bring an end to this war. Dude, this, this game is, I mean, the term is overused, it's been fucking destroyed by the internet, but this game really is epic. Like, the sound design, the levels, like, this is just feels really cool. We got British troops up in this building. Let it reload. Alright, let's push up. Here's some ammo, boys. <laughs> That guy thought it was the appropriate time to be using a club, when in fact it was not the appropriate time to be using a club, and rather he should have had a firearm equipped. It's a classic mistake made at these times. Is that an armored truck? I mean, say what you will about this game, it's pretty fucking historically inaccurate. Like, there's a lot of things wrong with the technology in use here, but, I mean, it's fun. I, I see it as just, like, historical fiction. Like, we're just kind of screwing around. It has a cool theme to it, right? They're just using World War One as a thematic device. These urban maps are scary. It's like, where am I going to get shot from? There's this one map in this game. I've, I think it's called Suez. I could be wrong. It's like a desert map. And in Conquest, it only has three points. And it's almost entirely urban. Like, there's a few sand dunes outlying on the map. But it's just like an urban environment. For the most part, it's like a village. Or a couple villages. I hate that map. <laughs> I hit it with a passion. I've only played on it a couple times, and I had no fun either time. It's just like an absolute clusterfuck. But, uh... This seems to be much more fun. Like, this map so far is a lot more interesting than that one. No, we lost butter. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. We gotta get back on that butter, boys. We're losing it. Whatever they may say, do not smear mustard gas on hot dog. Doesn't taste as good as you might think. Burns a lot. It's the, if, if you've ever had spicy mustard, it's extra spicy, this stuff. Oh shit, okay. Have some ammo, boys. Hey, can you throw me some medical supplies? No, okay, Dirty Harry, I see how it is. You play by your own rules. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Oh, uh, we took the sector. Alright, get out of here, you... You bastard. Oh! I need help. I need a medic. Medic. Oh, there's a medic moving up on me. Red Eye Ronin. Yes. Thank you so much, friend. In Battlefield, I find it helpful to kind of stick to the peripherals when you're moving through environments. Like, sticking to edges and stuff. Because you kind of get to approach every area on your own terms. Rushing through the center, you could get like pinched off on either side by enemy troops like like a bad shit you know like you, you need to go do something real quick and so you just pinch it off and it's painful and it's just not great it's like that okay you don't want to go straight down the middle you don't want to just rush through all the bullshit because you're gonna die so especially when you're unfamiliar with the maps you kind of want to stick to the edges and kind of creep around and and get a feel for things and then dive in once you once you know what's up once you got the proper intel all right educate yourself okay because you go in blind, you're going to get shot in the ass. And it's going to hurt. I guarantee it. Not sure what this guy's doing. Also, this gun has some accuracy issues, I can tell. <laughs> I want to move in on this building, but I'm so scared to. I need to steal someone else's kit and do it fast. No, that's not going to work. Okay. Okay, I'm getting resupplied, good. I'm just gonna steal that guy's gun. Yeah, I'll just defend these stairs for now. So they seem to approach from this side quite a bit. Not sure how close I want to get to the window, I don't want to expose myself. This reminds me a lot of a map from Red Orchestra 2. There's like one of the eastern front maps. Um, 
is a lot like this. Where you're like in Russian apartments and stuff. That game's pretty cool, so. Glad this game's kind of reminding me of it. Maybe not as hardcore as that game. Really enjoying the fact that you no longer need suppressors to stay off the minimap. Like, gunfire no longer gives you away. Makes it a lot less stressful. Because I always felt, like, obligated to equip suppressors on every gun when I played BF4. Because I, I like keeping the element of surprise as much as I can. So the fact that I don't have to worry about that, I can just relax and use whatever the fuck I want is pretty awesome. And that guy... That guy really died. Oh, they know what's up. God damn, who's blowing all those guys up? Because it's awesome. Ah, it's our friend the light tank. Keep it up, dude. I'm going to move up with you. Tanks are just rolling cover, alright? Keep that in mind. <laughs> we got some of our friendly neighborhood British up in this building. Ooh, I'm scared. Someone knows I'm here. Because I got shot at a bit. I'm just gonna hold my ground. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm alone. Oh, there's a whole other room. There could have been dudes in here too. I need to get my situational awareness up. Okay, note to self, you can shoot through those awnings. There is bullet penetration. To some degree. Oh, come on. Oh, someone else got me. Okay, I thought I traded with that guy. I was gonna be a little upset. <laughs> That's all good though. That guy had a good position. Oh, damn. People just keep getting blown the fuck up in this game. It's great. People just fucking exploding left and right. Body parts everywhere. Smells like cooking human flesh. I love it. I want to make a another series of Battlefields videos with this game. For sure. Um, just weird stuff has to happen. Which, uh, this game isn't nearly as buggy as BF4. So, <laughs> not as many weird things have occurred to me just yet. I'm waiting though. I want a little bit of weirdness, okay? In a weird fucked up kind of way, I was hoping this game would be a little bit broken. Just so I could take advantage of that for YouTube, but... So far, actually pretty solid. I haven't noticed anything too crazy. Occasionally, like, the melee kills are kind of glitchy. Like, especially getting melee killed from behind is always super disorienting and weird. I see you up there, you old sniper. That dude's just like, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck, shit. <laughs> I know I would be if I had a hail of gunfire coming down on me. Oh, he's trying to smoke me out. Mm-mm. That ain't gonna work. You can't get me high enough to lose sight of you. I'm coming for you, bitch. I'm coming for that little ass. Where are you at? Come here. I know you right up there. I said I would find you. I did. I blew your brains out. It didn't have to be that way, man. We could have been friends, but... You threw a smoke grenade at me, and that's an offense I cannot tolerate. Okay. Oh, we gotta take another sec- That's a- uh, That is an armored vehicle. Known as a tank. The oh, fuck? There's a train too. Yeah, it was fucked either way. I got pinched off, boys. <laughs> Guys, we're on the last few objectives. And we're barely through our current battalion. Like, our medics have been on point. I'm- This is the best game of operations I've ever played so far. So. The fact that this is happening when I'm recording is very serendipitous. Today's gonna be a good day. Hope I'm bringing some positive vibes today. I woke up in a good mood for once. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Fuck. We did it! That was the first game of Operations I ever won. It's the first one I've seen where the attackers won. Brave soldiers. The British army is beaten. And the German eagle is soaring over Europe. The Allies will surely now beg for peace, with our great leaders dictating all conditions. In the two weeks since the start of Kaiserschlacht, the German army had suffered 250,000 casualties, including many of its elite stormtroopers, without achieving the decisive victory it needed. The Allies had also lost thousands of men, so were relying on the arriving US forces to conquer one last piece of hell. What are my personal stats were? How did I do? Ah, I did pretty good. All right. Well, this is Battlefield 1. Uh, I really like this game, but, you know, I'm biased. I love Battlefield. But uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot less bullshit than there was in BF4. There's no, like, laser-guided missiles or any of that shit. Helicopters, none of that. Um, it's pretty simple. The only thing that really bothers me is the bayonet charge. I think the bayonet charge is some bullshit. I hate that 
mechanic. I mean, I hate the shoulder bash in Halo 5, so I guess I just hate any sort of, like, charge-ahead melee mechanic because it just feels cheap. But other than that, I've been having a lot of fun with this game. Um, I wouldn't say you should go pick it up necessarily. Um, I don't know, just watch some YouTube videos and shit and get your own opinion on it. Uh, if you played the beta, it's not too much different. It's a lot less buggy than the beta, but it feels pretty similar. So, anyway, uh, that's it. I'm out. Goodbye. <laughs>